just want to throw this in there narcissism is within everything just because it's invisible in society does not mean that it's not prevalent and like i said to most people it is invisible think about it in all the top think about i've i've went for jobs as a correctional officer i've went for you know police jobs i've 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 been around, you know what I'm saying? I've been around in some situations, as crazy as this sounds, I just be experimenting. I don't want to be a correctional officer. I really don't want to work in the prison. I watched videos on it. I went to the interviews to be a correctional officer out here where I live at now. And just because I'm so interested in psychology, hold on. Just because of, where's my book? Just because, of, look at all these books I got. Just because I'm so interested in the world now just from being self-aware i recognize that narcissism is in everything and i'm not just talking about um think about it i dated somebody who think about it the irs is a top job i dated somebody whose grandparent was in the irs and they were definitely a narcissist they they go for these perceived prestigious jobs so all everybody who sit here thinking like Oh, no, narcissism isn't that prevalent, whatever the case may be. There are narcissists. Then the narcissists go to the top because they like the top jobs, such as politicians, such as cops, such as FBI, such as being a correctional officer, such as being the top. And any job they go in, they try to go to the top. So most of these jobs that people go for, your boss probably is a narcissist. The higher ups are probably a narcissist. Why do you think people go to jobs and then they make videos or they go on Reddit or they go online and say, oh, it wasn't the job, it was the higher ups. It's within everything we do because we got the narc. That's why people attack people like me who call it out and say, no, not everybody's a narcissist. I get where they're coming from because they're asleep and they don't understand it. But what happens is it's the narcissist at the top of the situations. And then they condition the people around them to be flying monkeys or they condition the people around them to operate the way they operate and then everybody starts to operate like narcissists with narcissistic traits everybody in society now are operating in that way that's why narcissism has become so damn invisible and the crazy part is narcissism has been around for so long that the the head narcissist of everything has conditioned everybody in society to defend them because they have conditioned everybody to act like them with narcissistic traits. So the more that society has become more narcissistic, all it does is make narcissism more invisible. And that's why I bring up the, the other personality disorders because they are more susceptible and prevalent to adapt these, these narcissistic traits as well. The borderlines, the histrionics, the other anti-personality personality disorders. We need to, as much as we try to say, oh, only some people are like that. Oh, you calling everybody. Regardless of whether it's not a large percentage of the population, it is enough within the population. There's enough people in the population that are psychologically damaged that it has trickled down to influence everybody to operate like these head honchos that hate themselves such as the narcissist society has become like this because we allowed narcissists to take control and, and what can we do this is not something easy to be self-aware so, so of that is why society is so evil that's my theory i just wanted to go on a completely excuse me long rant some people probably will say I'm biased because I'm coming from a narcissistic family system. But I just explained to y'all that I'm out and about. I've been in Philadelphia. I've been to Salt Lake. I've been to Vegas. I've been to around. I've been to certain jobs. I've been studying personality disorders. I've been studying psychology. I've been learning about all of this stuff. And it's not about the fact that there's a high percentage of narcissists within society because they say it's only 1% which I don't believe, I believe it's like 10% or something. It could be 20%, who knows, we don't know. And not everybody is a narcissist, but what I will say is this. I will say that narcissists reach high levels because that's what they're conditioned to do. They, they, they love that ego. Then they trickle it down to everybody in society. For all we know, all our presidents could have been narcissists. 
For all we know, narcissism was behind the Martin Luther King situation, the Malcolm X situation, the Biggie and Tupac situations. This spiritual warfare has been going on since since the beginning of time. Everybody looks at everybody looks at oh their skin is clean. Everybody looks at oh she looks good. She got a nice butt. He got nice teeth. Everybody looks at surface level stuff, and that is part of the narcissistic conditioning. We are conditioned to make narcissism invisible. And that is why people call it the Illuminati. That's why people don't assume that certain things can happen by certain individuals who present themselves a certain way because that is narcissism. What do they do? Oh, I'm the perfect thing ever. Oh, nobody would never suspect me because I'm too good at manipulating blah, 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 whatever the case may be. That's why I'm not saying that Drake did do that situation with XX and Tassione and kill him, whatever the case may be. But that is a perfect example of people thinking, oh, no, it wouldn't be Drake. That's what people do with narcissists. It's crazy, right? Anyway, back to the video.